In the quiet, tranquil corner of the world, there was a small town, Hollow Heights. As the sun set, the last rays of light were quickly swallowed by the descending darkness, turning the town into an unsettling silhouette. Enter our protagonist, Sam, a young man with a spirit of adventure. He was an outsider, a newcomer to the town, known for his insatiable curiosity. His courage had a certain tenacity, the type that would make him approach the unknown with a gleam in his eye. On this fateful night, he decided to take a stroll, his footsteps echoing in the desolate, dark streets of hollow heights. Old buildings towered over him, their worn-out facades whispering stories of times long past. As the moon hung high and cast long eerie shadows, Sam felt a shiver run down his spine, but he pressed on, his curiosity peaked more than ever. As he walked further into the town, he noticed something peculiar. The usually bustling town square was deserted, the only sound was the rustling leaves in the cold night breeze. He moved closer and spotted an old run-down mansion at the far end of the square. Its imposing structure loomed ominously under the moonlight, casting a chilling aura. Then strange occurrences started to unfold. Streetlights began flickering, creating a spooky strobe effect. The wind whistled eerily, and a distant, melancholic howl echoed in the stillness of the night. This was not just a simple night stroll anymore. It had turned into an unsettling mystery. Suddenly, an unexplainable event occurred. A soft light started to glow from the mansion's attic window. But the mansion was supposed to be abandoned for decades, wasn't it? Sam stood there, his heart pounding in his chest. Was it his imagination, or was there something truly eerie about the mansion? Filled with a mix of fear and excitement, Sam decided to investigate. Little did he know, this night would be one to remember, marking the beginning of his spooky journey in hollow heights. As Sam ventured closer to the mansion, the flickering light in the attic window seemed to glow brighter, almost beckoning him. It was as if the mansion was calling out to him, inviting him to unravel its secrets. As fear gave way to intrigue, Sam took a deep breath, mustered his courage, and slowly approached a haunted mansion. With a deep breath, Sam took a step forward and pushed open the rusty gates of the mansion. They squeaked in protest, echoing in the stillness of the night. Despite the cold air, Sam could feel a trickle of sweat running down his neck as he started his exploration. The mansion was old, and the wind seemed to whistle tunes of the past through the cracks in the wooden walls. It was large, with many rooms that had been deserted for years. The wallpaper was peeling off, the portraits on the wall were fading, and there was a layer of dust on everything, marking the passage of time. As Sam ventured deeper, he noticed that the mansion was not as empty as it seemed. There were cryptic messages scribbled on the walls, like forgotten tales waiting to be read. One particular message that caught his eye was, Beware the ghost's secret. The words sent a chill down Sam's spine. What could it mean? Then, there were the ghostly apparitions. They were subtle at first, a sudden movement at the corner of his eye, a whisper in his ear, a feeling of being watched. Sam could feel his heartbeat in his throat, but his curiosity was stronger than his fear. He decided to investigate the mysterious occurrences. The first room he entered was a large library. Shelves filled with dusty books reached up to the high ceiling. He moved closer and started browsing through them, uncovering ancient stories about the town and the mansion. One book, in particular, caught his attention. Its title was The Ghost of Hollow Heights. Intrigued, Sam started reading. The book told a tale of a ghost who was said to inhabit the mansion, a spirit tied to the place by a dark secret. As Sam delved into the narrative, he could almost feel a presence in the room with him. He looked around, half expecting to see a spectral figure, but he was alone. As he explored further, he entered a grand hall filled with dusty furniture covered in white sheets. He felt a sudden cold draught, and the chandelier overhead started to sway slightly. He turned around and gasped. There, in the middle of the room, 
was a ghostly figure, semi-transparent and glowing faintly. It was the ghost mentioned in the book. The apparition looked at him, its eyes filled with an ancient sadness. It didn't seem harmful. Instead, it seemed like it was trying to communicate. Sam could feel his heart pounding in his chest, but he decided to stay. He had ventured into this mansion to uncover its secrets, and he was not going to back down now. As he found his courage, he moved closer to the ghost, his mind filled with questions. What was the ghost's secret? Why was it tied to this mansion? What happened here in the past? Sam was just getting started with his investigation. The mansion was full of mysteries that were waiting to be solved. The eerie ambience, the cryptic messages, and the ghostly apparitions were all pieces of a bigger puzzle. As the night grew darker, Sam was ready to delve deeper and unlock the secrets of the haunted mansion. Sam was now standing before the ghost, a figure of light and transparency. His heart raced in his chest, but he was determined to uncover the secrets this mansion held. Gathering his courage, he asked, What is your secret? The ghostly figure moved closer. As it did, a wave of cold washed over Sam. It pointed towards a corner of the hall, where an ancient-looking chest lay half-buried under dust and cobwebs. Sam hesitated for a moment, then walked towards the chest. He reached out and dusted off the cobwebs, his hands trembling slightly. As he opened the chest, a musty smell filled the air, the smell of old parchment and forgotten stories. Inside was a bundle of old letters, yellowed with age. Sam picked up the topmost letter and started reading. As he read, he was transported back in time. The letters were from a man named James, the previous owner of the mansion. It appeared that James and the ghost were once deeply in love. They were supposed to be married, but tragically, the woman died a few days before their wedding. Devastated, James locked himself in the mansion and was never seen again. It was said that his love for her was so strong that he never left the mansion, even in death. But there was a twist. The letters revealed that the woman who was to marry James was Sam's distant relative. This was the connection Sam had to this place. The ghostly apparition was his ancestor. He was in disbelief. Could this really be true? Was he really connected to this haunted mansion in such a profound way? As he looked up from the letters, he saw the ghost looking at him. It was almost as if she had been waiting for him to discover this secret. Sam felt a strange connection to her. He could see the love she still had for James in her eyes, and he could feel the sadness of their unfulfilled love story. He knew what he had to do. Sam decided to help his ancestor find peace. He would try to reunite her with James, who he suspected was also lingering in the mansion. With a newfound determination, he set out to uncover the rest of the mansion's secrets and help his ancestor finally find peace. This discovery was overwhelming, but Sam was not deterred. He knew he was on a mission, not just an adventure anymore. With each step, he was getting closer to solving the mystery of the haunted mansion. As he journeyed deeper into the mansion's history, he felt a deep sense of purpose. He was not just a curious explorer anymore. He was the link to the ghost's past and possibly her peace. With the secrets of the haunted mansion now in his grasp, Sam was determined to fulfill his mission. He felt a strange connection to the ghostly figure of his ancestor and was more than ever committed to helping her find peace. He started his mission by trying to reach out to James. Sam walked through the echoing halls, calling out James's name. He felt a strange energy in the air, an unseen force that was drawing him towards the mansion's cellar. Trusting his intuition, Sam descended the creaky stairs into the depths of the mansion. There, in the dimly lit cellar, he found another apparition. This one had the same glow as the first but was distinctly masculine. Sam realized that he was standing before the ghost of James. Gathering his courage, he spoke, James, it's time for you and her to find peace. As he spoke these words, a chill ran through the air. The cellar, previously filled with an eerie silence, 
was now filled with a sense of anticipation. Sam could see a change in James' ghostly figure. His eyes, previously filled with a centuries-old sadness, now seemed to flicker with a glimmer of hope. Sam explained his connection to the woman, how he was a descendant, and that he wanted to help both of them find peace. He presented the bundle of letters to James, who slowly moved forward and touched them. As he did, a bright light filled the room, nearly blinding Sam. When he opened his eyes, he found both ghosts standing together. They smiled at him, gratitude and relief in their eyes. Then, in a swift whirl of light, they vanished, leaving Sam alone in the now less intimidating mansion. Feeling a sense of accomplishment, Sam decided it was time to leave. But just as he turned to head towards the stairs, the mansion began to rumble, cracks appeared on the walls, and dust began to fall from the ceiling. Realizing the mansion was collapsing, Sam felt a rush of adrenaline. He had to escape, and fast. Using his memory of the mansion's layout, he dashed through the dusty hallways, dodging falling debris. He could see the exit, but it seemed miles away. His heart pounded in his chest as he pushed himself to run faster. In a final leap of faith, he burst through the front door just as the mansion crumbled behind him. He felt a gust of wind as the mansion collapsed, followed by an unsettling silence. He was panting, covered in dust, but he was safe. He had escaped. As he looked back at the pile of rubble, he couldn't help but feel a sense of closure. The haunted mansion with its eerie ghosts and hidden secrets was no more. Yet, in its place stood the memory of a tragic love story, a surprising family connection, and an adventure Sam would never forget. In the end, Sam wasn't just an explorer anymore. He was a hero. He had uncovered a centuries-old secret, reconciled two lost souls, and made a daring escape from a crumbling mansion. As he walked away from the remains of the mansion, he carried with him not just memories of a spooky journey, but also a rich tale of love, loss, and the strength of family ties that transcended life and death.